Did you read that supermodel Elle McPherson used holistic dentistry to cure her breast cancer? Are you worried that your mercury fillings will make your cancer incurable? What is holistic dentistry and should you swap your dentist? Now, before you start Googling, let me tell you that there is no evidence that dental work causes cancer. And in this video, I'm going to prove it. So what is holistic dentistry? Well, it's an alternative form of dental medicine that focuses on your physical, emotional and spiritual health. Contrast this with traditional dentistry that only concentrates on your dental health. Traditional dentists diagnose problems that affect your teeth, gums, mouth and jaw, and they treat them with evidence-based, safe and effective treatments like fillings and root canal surgery. Holistic dentists treat dental problems by focusing on all of you. They use aromatherapy, homeopathy, spiritual healing and other alternative remedies. There is little research on these treatments. We don't know if they work, are they safe or what their long-term risks are. As an example, holistic dentists do not think we should use fluoride in our toothpaste. They think root canal surgery causes cancer and that mercury fillings are dangerous. Nothing could be further from the truth. Let's start with root canal surgery. Why do people need it? Well, it's done when you have an infection in the center of your tooth called the pulp. If untreated, the bacteria can destroy the pulp and a dentist has to remove the tooth. What dentists do is get rid of the infected pulp tissue and seal the tooth with a crown to stop it from happening again. So why do people think root canal surgery can cause cancer? Well, it all started in 1922 with a dentist called Weston Price. He removed teeth from people with medical problems who'd also had root canal surgery. He then implanted these teeth into laboratory rabbits. He claimed that a tooth from a person who'd had a heart attack made the rabbit have a heart attack. The infected teeth apparently caused over 80 diseases in the rabbits. And he explained this by saying that root canal surgery didn't get rid of all the bacteria and toxins. The bacteria from the implanted teeth could spread and cause illnesses like cancer, arthritis and heart disease. And you won't be surprised to know that his research was badly performed and has never been repeated. And yet the idea had taken hold root canal surgery spreads dangerous bacteria around the body. Now in 2019, a documentary called Root Cause claimed that root canal surgery cannot remove all the bacteria in the teeth. This leads to chronic inflammation in the mouth and you guessed it, cancer. The documentary claims to expose one of the world's greatest medical cover-ups. It quoted doctors who said that root canals cause widespread health issues. A high-profile American osteopath called Joseph McCullough took the claim one step further. He claimed that 93% of breast cancer patients have had root canal surgery, therefore root canal surgery caused their cancer. But we now know that just because someone with cancer had a root canal, it does not mean that the root canal was the cause. So is there any evidence to prove that root canal treatment causes cancer? No, there isn't. Every international dental association states that root canal treatments do not cause cancer. The film Root Cause has now been removed from streaming websites like Netflix. Scientists have debunked Western Price's theory many times. There is no evidence to suggest that bacteria from the mouth cause cancer. The Joseph McCullough based his claims on research done by Dr. Robert Jones. He apparently found a high correlation between root canals and breast cancer, except the research McCullough cites does not exist. There is no available study on the links between breast cancer and root canals by this author. What's the bottom line? There is no evidence to support a link between root canals and cancer. And a 2013 study actually suggested the opposite. Researchers found that root canal patients were less likely to have head and neck cancer. Root canal surgery is safe. Now let's move on to mercury or amalgam fillings. Now I'm going to be honest here. I didn't look after my teeth properly when I was little and that led to me having several amalgam or mercury fillings to fill in the holes in my teeth. And when I became a doctor, I had some spare change. So I paid a private dentist to replace my metal fillings with the white composite ones. I just didn't want a mouthful of metal when I smiled. It was pure vanity. However, people are removing their fillings to avoid cancer. Are they being sensible or have they been scammed? Well, let's start with what is an amalgam filling. 
Amalgam is just another name for a mixture or a blend. The fillings contain elemental mercury and a powder of several other metals like tin, copper and silver. They're used all over the world to treat tooth decay. Mercury is the most toxic heavy metal in the environment. It's naturally found in soil, water and even the air. And most of us have a tiny amount in our bodies and it's harmless at that concentration. Whereas high mercury exposure is very dangerous. It can harm your kidneys, nerves and the immune system. But there is no definitive proof that mercury exposure causes cancer. So why do people think that mercury fillings cause cancer? Well, in the 1970s, an American dentist called Hal Huggins linked amalgam fillings to multiple sclerosis, depression, arthritis and cancer. He had no strong evidence to back up his claims, but he started removing amalgam fillings. In 1996, he lost his license to practice dentistry, but that didn't stop him removing teeth and fillings. In 1990, a documentary called Is There Poison in Your Mouth interviewed several private dentists. They all said that removing mercury fillings cured their patients' medical problems. Wow! The idea that mercury fillings were dangerous was now all over the internet. Some holistic dentists blamed mercury poisoning for traditional dentists' high divorce and suicide rates. It was also used to explain why female dentists are more likely to have difficult pregnancies, abortions and infant death. Hundreds of holistic dentists and alternative doctors now urge you to remove your mercury fillings. They say it will help your body fight cancer. But can we actually absorb mercury from fillings? So as I said, we all have a small amount of mercury in our body and every day we absorb nine millionths of a gram of mercury from our food and the environment. And yes, tiny amounts of mercury can escape from amalgam fillings and enter our bloodstream, but that is only a sixth of the amount we naturally absorb. Studies have looked at the amount of mercury in the urine of people with amalgam fillings and it was less than five micrograms per litre. A microgram is a thousandth of a gram. The dentists have less than 10 micrograms per litre of mercury in their urine. Some factory workers have up to 135 micrograms per litre in their urine. This is still a safe level. Just because we can detect mercury in your urine doesn't mean it's poisonous. So what's the bottom line? There is absolutely no evidence that amalgam fillings cause cancer. The American Dental Association, the Oral Health Foundation, the British Dental Association and the World Health Organization, to name a few, all agree on this. The amount of mercury absorbed by the body from amalgam fillings is so small it is considered harmless. You do not need to have your fillings removed to stop you getting cancer. I'm Dr. Liz O'Riordan, the breast surgeon with breast cancer, and thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. And if you've got a question that you'd like me to answer, please get in touch. I do the research so you don't have to.